light gun fans, this one's for you. Welcome to the light gun buying guide for the PlayStation 3. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking Black Butte 31st Birthday Reserve by Deschutes Brewing Company. It's a variant of their Black Butte Porter. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's talk about some light gun games on the PS3. WWE Hall of Famer, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And I want you to check out Gaming Off The Grid, tough guy. All right, Light Gun fans, here we go. Saddle up. The PlayStation 3. So we've already done the episode on the Nintendo Wii and how to bring that fun arcade couch co-op light gun experience right into your living room or game room. It's that so easy with the Wii and I forgot that the PS3 yeah. had the PlayStation Move. It has light gun games and yeah. now I'm just jacked because we have all these ways to play light gun games at home. Yeah, it's awesome. And so you said it was so easy with the Wii. Yeah. It's not so not easy. as easy. On the PS3 and the barrier of entry is a little higher because you've got to buy some more peripherals. So let's go ahead and get started. The most universal way to play light gun games on the PS3 is with the PlayStation Move. And most people have it and they're like, dude, this sucks. Well, which means most people probably don't have it anymore. Oh yeah, they right? got rid of it. <laughs> so you, you see these laying around quite a bit. It's a rechargeable device. They've, they've reappeared now with the PSVR. But during the PS3 era, there wasn't a lot of my friends, and I don't know about yours, that were playing any games with this. So. No, it was mostly people had them, and then maybe a game here or there. Yeah. It, but since the PlayStation 3 had a real controller, it wasn't the Nintendo Wii where you had to use yeah. it. People just used the regular controller. And I don't know how everybody felt, but I always felt like Sony was just grasping at straws, overreacting to the Nintendo Wii. Oh, so they put this out to like try reeling in some of those gamers. But nonetheless, this can be used as a light gun, um, and you can either use it by itself or like the like on the Wii, the Nyko Perfect Shot on the PS3 is, is the, really the cool. The best accessory that yeah. we have found for light gun games. Yep. There's one on the Wii that's perfect, but dude, this one feels so cool. It does. Besides for the dumb ball at the end, yeah. both the lights off, this is it still looks this is cool. chunky it feels really good you can put batteries in the bottom to get some vibration it's when you're so shooting badass. yeah it's really good and i think it makes some sound effects as well which is kind of cool there are some games though that really want to tie in this second peripheral and we'll kind of get to that a little bit later but for the most part the games we care about and we're going to focus on are the rail shooting type light gun games the traditional light gun games yeah, and this will do ones. just fine yeah so, it, it's perfect yeah so let's jump in to some games. Yeah. First off, let's talk about a series that we know and love, and it started the freaking channel. Maybe yep. not this version of the game, but House of the Dead. So you can get House of the Dead 3 and 4 and Overkill. Yes, 3 and 4. I'm glad you brought those up first. They're digital download only. Yes, which, which sucks. It does. You can play House of the Dead 3 on the Nintendo Wii. You can play it in the arcade, but House of the Dead 4, the only home console way to play that game is on the PS3. Yeah, it's PS3 exclusive. I mean, it's obviously in the arcade, yeah, yeah. but if you want to play it at home, House of the Dead 4, it's awesome. It's epic. If you've ever played Scarlet Dawn, that's the newest one in the series. It's very much like that. Yeah, it is for sure. And then House of the Dead Overkill, you know, this game is great on the Wii. We've talked about that game at nauseum, but the version on the the PS3 is the extended cut. So this is where we kind of split hairs between the two versions. This one's a lot of fun. It has the 3D mode because you know PS3 started doing the 3D yeah, and stuff. And it comes with two pairs yeah. of 3D glasses, which is hilarious. Yeah, so that's really neat. And ours it was complete. I think we got this brand new actually. And the game, it's the extended cut. So there's what, two extra yeah, missions there's, I there's think? two or three extra missions, yeah. which is cool because and they're like, cool missions. one of them you go through a strip club. Witness naked desire, naked lust, naked terror. Adults only. Keep both hands on the controller. More blood, more gore, more strippers. That's what it <laughs> says right on the back. So if you like House of the Dead Overkill, I think this is worth playing. If you're over there asking yourself, is it better than the one on the Wii? It looks better, it's a little more crisp, but I don't know that these controllers are quite as good as the Wii Motes. It's weird, it runs a little smoother on the PS3, but the peripheral is not quite as good as yeah. the Nintendo Wii. So read your own mail, but if you're a fan of the game, I do think you need to play this. So It's so much fun. Now let's move on to Time Crisis. Yeah. One of the most notorious franchises in light gun games is Time Crisis, right up there with House of the Dead. And Time Crisis has a bunch of offerings on the PS3. We'll start with Time Crisis 4. That was the first one to come out, and it has another peripheral that we need to 
to talk about. Yes, the Gun Con 3. Yeah. Which is awesome. We love the Gun Con 2 on the yep. PS2. Yep. This is so sweet. So we gotta talk about this. This is way more accurate than the PlayStation Move. This is honestly the ideal way to play light guns on the PS3. Incredibly accurate. Here's the caveat. You can only buy one gun with this set. There's no sets that come with two, and you cannot buy additional guns, or you couldn't at the time, that were not a part of this set. So when this was out, you had to buy two big box versions of Time Crisis so 4. So you have two copies of the game so you could do co-op shooting. Yeah. And not only that, you, you plug it in, but then you have to put up these weird sensor yep. bars on your TV. It's yep. kind of confusing. It's kind of weird. It doesn't use the PlayStation Move Eye. And then on top of that, all that work for this, these guns only work with Namco games. Which I think all in only amounts to three titles. There's also Time Crisis Raising Storm, which is a three pack of games, but I believe that is it yes. for the Namco so games. So that's got Dead Storm Pirates, Time Crisis, Crisis Raising 4, Storm. And Time Crisis 4 yeah. on it. So you can get this and the gun, and but that's it. You have all that yep. for four games. Yeah, it doesn't work on it doesn't work on House of the Dead or any of the other games we're gonna mention, but this thing is awesome. But you're gonna have to spend a little bit of money to get two of these guns and you got to make sure also that you're getting at least one of them complete in boxes. If you don't have those sensors you yeah, mentioned, you can't play it's it. It's not going to work. But once you get it and once you play it, I know it's only three titles, but it's freaking bad. Yeah. I feel so cool. And it's worth mentioning without this, the PlayStation Move can still play all those oh, yeah, games. So can, this is this yeah, is universal. Yeah, you can use it. But like we said, the Gun Con is the most accurate way to play PlayStation 3 like on games that we found. Yeah. Now let's move on to some more like on games that the PlayStation 3 offers. Yeah, so there's a game that a lot of people have shit on over the years and it's the Rambo game on PS3. I think it's on the 360 as well. I can't speak to that version of it, but I'm a Rambo fan. They drew first blood. I yes. love Rambo. He's a badass. One, two. Honestly, I love three and then the one just called Rambo and the newest one I haven't seen. I just love the franchise. It just makes you feel like a badass when you watch it. And the game, it's pretty damn good. It's good in that shitty light gun type of yes. way. So all the games we've mentioned up to this point, they're pretty freaking awesome games. Rambo struggles a little bit. You do have to use the peripheral for this. So the, the secondary hand, but the best way to play it is with another Accessory. Gun. Yes. We just picked this bad the boy up. The sharpshooter. And wow, it's freaking, it feels so cool yes. to feel like you're freaking Rambo. But it has a cool little slot here for that yep. peripheral. And then the move goes up here. So it's really weird. Rambo, what's confusing about that game is all the controls and all the buttons. Yep. Like it's not just, you know, fire duck, fire duck. Like you literally, there's like grenades and different buttons do different ducks, me moving. It's, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, so the learning curve is pretty steep, but it is still a rail shooter. So this is really used to like throw grenades and then the duck mechanic has a multi-directional. So you're not just yeah. going behind a barrier. You can go side to side, down, um, with just the joystick in those directions, yeah. I believe. So the game is pretty awesome. The other cool part is it actually throws in some real pieces of the movie. Now, a lot of people have shit on the game because there is no linear fashion. You'll no. be having a scene from Rambo 2, then a scene from Rambo 1. It's like, it doesn't make sense. What are you doing? But the game is fun. I enjoy it. It's good in that shitty light gun type of way. So I think Rambo and is worth picking up. What's weird is Rambo, he's one guy. This is co-op. Yes. Which is cool to bring up. So uh, probably your least favorite friend can play as the other guy <laughs> yeah. and he'll play as Rambo. Yeah. But it's still cool that it offers that and you just feel like yeah. you're in the movies. Like it's it's a badass game and getting that accessory yeah. with that gun is cool. Hey man, you want to play Rambo? Yeah. Uh, but I'm Rambo. Oh, dang it. He, he got me there. <laughs> now let's move on to a very unique and weird game, Child of Eden. Yes. This it, game is interesting. It is. And there is a version of this on the 360 that I really want to play. We've never done anything with the uh, Xbox Connect, so I don't know anything about yeah. it. I had very high hopes for this game. Stylistically, this is a rail shooter, and you are this child that was born in outer space. And I believe you're like traveling through the internet to get back yeah, you're to like, reality. It's, it's really weird. It's really weird. Great music. Visually mm -hmm. beautiful, musically awesome. It kind of reminds me of Tetris Effect in that aspect. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of, you know, some VR stuff because yep. it's just like coming at you. This game got incredible ratings. Yep. Here's the problem. Calibration. Yep. If a game takes longer than 10 minutes to calibrate and it's still not right, that's a problem. It is. And it, we, 
We spent time in the game room. Yep. We moved to a different TV. We tried. We spent so much time trying to calibrate it, and we just couldn't get it. He was like, "What's going on?" Yeah, it, it's frustrating because you know if you play the game with a controller, it, it's it's a lot of fun. And if you don't care about having precision, which if you're a light gun fan, you do. Yeah, you need. Like if you just want to sit back and just kind of move the controller and flow with the music in the game, it is a pretty cool experience. But if you're wanting accuracy and precision, which as a light gun fan, you have to have. Yeah, you need it. This game was a huge letdown. It could have been on the PS3 like the epitome of a good light gun rail shooter. It just falls short. It's still a very unique game. It's fun to play with a controller. If you want to sit back and just chill and it's, just kind of wave it back and forth, it's it fun. It sucks but. because I want to put time yeah. into this game and it's just like, dude, this could be incredible. Mm -hmm. The calibration, every time I had to get it close and go into the game, I'm like, dude, this sucks. Yeah. It's not doing what I want it to do. I really want to try the 360 version, but we don't have that yet. Yeah. So maybe one day we'll do a video on that because it's, dude, this game just looks and feels amazing. I have a feeling we're going to be going down another rabbit hole. Oh, we the, will. The Connect. Moving along, there's a couple games that are cross platform games that you've heard us talk about before, so we won't go too far into it. Dead Space Extraction, the HD version, yes. is available on the PS3, and you can only buy it if you get the Dead Space 2, like, collector's edition which is it, weird it's a bonus game yeah which, it's a bonus game. It's, it's a five dollar game so if you want to play dead space extraction which you should it's a great game on the ps3 that's how you would accomplish that and then what was the other one the other one's heavy oh, fire yep. afghanistan which yep. is also on the nintendo yep. Wii. we already talked about that it's cool that it's on this because that game is just you know it's just a railgun shooter then also we already mentioned overkill but it's different for the ps3 there's just a lot of lycan games then there's some games that they're not necessarily rail shooters, but you can use the move, you can yeah. use the, the gun accessory and play them. Yes, yeah, like SOCOM 4, Killzone 3, um, there's that 007 Goldeneye Reloaded. Reloaded. Yeah. And obviously there's a ton of like those Cabela shooting, you know, like yep. where you're shoot big buck hunter. Yep. There's a ton of those if you're into that kind of stuff. We don't really like those games. Yeah. So if you've got that it's just scratch, the buying guide. What should you pick up if you're on a budget? I think you got to get a PlayStation Move controller with the PlayStation Eye. Yes. Don't worry about the peripheral. House of the Dead Overkill, download House of the Dead 3 and 4. Before get, you can't. You yes, know? and then get the Namco collection, Perfect. the Time Crisis Raising Storm collection. That's about all you need. I would definitely recommend the Nikel Perfect Shot, though, because holding the PlayStation Move without the gun just feels weird. It doesn't feel right because you got to like press the button on the yep. bottom. So I highly recommend the Nikel Perfect Shot. So great, put the batteries in, it feels like you're in the arcade. Yep, so casual fan, that's what you need. Nyko Perfect Shot, PlayStation Move, the camera, House of the Deads, the Time Crisis, uh, Collection. Lamco Collection. And if you're a really hardcore light gun fan, we, we, we love the GunCon 3. It plays perfectly, but it's only good. For three games, yeah. technically four, but you get Time Crisis 4 twice, yep. you know? So, it's cool, but you're spending that money for 30 games. Yep. So, but I, I do want to say though, that collection is bad as Dead Storm Pirates, Fantastic yep, like in the game. Is. Raising Storm, fantastic. It's short as hell though. It is, but the soundtrack, it's like metal music. Yeah, it's, you're like, it's yeah, really looks cool. and kicks some ass. Yeah. And then Time Crisis 4, great game. Yep. And the fact that you can only play House of the Dead 4 on PS3. I mean, that's just that you gotta play that game if you're it's a fan incredible. of the franchise. So it's almost worth the barrier of entry, at least for us, to just play that game. All right, it's time to talk about this beer. We bought this recently on our Wisconsin trip with Captain Algebra. Yes, this is the Black Butte 31st Birthday Reserve. It's an Imperial Porter with chocolate, cold brew coffee, cardamom, and aged in bourbon barrels. First off, what's cardamom? <laughs> it's a it's a unique herbal spice um, that, yeah. That's basically what I know about it. Um, I've, I honestly don't know what I've ever had that has it in it. Now, Black Butte Porter is readily available to most of you watching this episode. It is a great porter. One of my favorites. Yeah, it's, it's such it's a good so beer. good. This is like the next freaking level. Yeah, it is. This is so good. This is that, it's just got that top shelf taste. I can't really put my finger on it exactly, but it's just when you taste it, it's like, I'm drinking an epic beer right now. Yeah, this you can just awesome. you can just taste it. All the flavors mix together so well. It's so smooth. Yep. So flavorful. That's just it's just so good. And it's aged in bourbon barrels, but it doesn't taste like no. it's it doesn't have that bourbon kick. It just dude, this is Yeah, that, that cardamom spice was really uh smooth it, it smooths yeah, out. It really comes through. I don't even know that that's exactly what I'm tasting, but there's this herbal component to this. Almost got like a holiday type spice to yeah. it. Wow, this is really good. It's so good. This is definitely the best porter I've ever had, I think. It's it's incredible yeah. and like 
this is a one-off because they did this for their 31st birthday. So yeah. next year, they're probably going to do something way different. Yeah. And their 30th birthday, they did something way yep. different. So very limited and release. We did see when we were there picking that up. I think we saw the 30th and maybe the 29th Ooh, still for really? sale. But it's I can't remember what we spent for this, but it wasn't it's cheap. Pricey. Yeah. So we're, it was one of those deals. We're only getting one bottle type of thing. But uh, guys, oh, it's so good. the light gun games, you can bring them home. You can bring them to your living room. The Nintendo Wii, I think, is still the optimum light gun machine to yes. play at home but if you have already exhausted that and played all those games and you want a little bit more give the ps3 a look yeah, yeah there's some great games house of the dead 4 time crisis heck rambo it's yeah. fun it's a little weird but it's fun yeah like it's it's cool there's not that many games the barrier entry is kind of tough with all the accessories and all yep. the different guns but if you're a light gun fan like us you don't care. You You're got, like, let's freaking play. You gotta have it. You had me at House of the Dead 4 <laughs> in my living room. We always appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing to the channel. And you know what? If you like these videos, please share them with somebody else oh, that yeah, will please. appreciate it because it's only going to help the channel grow and we greatly appreciate it. Keep gaming. Keep drinking. And we'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off The Grid. <laughs> They're digital download only. Yes, which, which sucks. It does, but you can play House of the Dead 3 most of us thought this thing was dog yeah, shit. it sucks. But if you're a light gun fan, stay tuned. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking. I was not ready. <laughs> Too excited to pull the trigger on you, fuckers. Okay. Way back in 2009. I waved for some reason. Way back in 2009. You ready? Yeah. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking Black Butte by Deschutes. It's a 31st birthday celebration special reserve. I'm just saying words. <laughs> Black Butte 31st Birthday Reserve. Way back in 2009, Sony found themselves in scramble mode, trying to... I was, I was acting like I was in scramble mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be a fun one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Easiest part of the intro. At the time, many hardcore gamers thought this was an overreaction by Sony and didn't find much of a use for this thing. But guess what? What? 